I promise we're not going to leave you standing alone in a world so cold today on the Reptile Party's YouTube channel. Happy holidays! Uh, December has arrived, December 2021, and so I figured it was appropriate to uh, talk about birds that are both um, affiliated with peace on earth, as well as part of one of the most iconic Christmas songs where they sing about two turtle doves. Uh, this is one of our ring-necked do doves, not ring-necked dugs, which I'm sure those exist too. Some guys named Doug with a whole bunch of chains around the neck. That would be a ring neck Doug. We actually have eight of these. <laughs> Much to uh, some of my staff's chagrin. Uh, that was not intentional. I got a uh, email from someone that had met me a few times at Reptile Expo, and they said that they'd rescued some doves, or a few doves, from a bad situation, and would I be interested in them for facility? And I talked to Connor and he said, yeah, doves are easy to care, care for and they're a great ambassador animal. So yeah, go for it. Well, one, you can hear the amount of noise they make. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to start moving the video filming to a different part of the nature center because they are pretty loud. But uh, as well, apparently a few meant eight. A few typically means like three to five. So I actually arrived back at the nature center and showed the Transport cage to Connor, and he went, Jason, what have you done? Which was highly amusing. But we have definitely fallen for these guys, although their their cooing is quite loud uh, and sometimes a little creepy. They have like a little laugh. It's also kind of soothing and relaxing in a lot of ways, which is really nice. So doves are actually found in Africa um, in a lot of different environments. They are primarily seed and veggie eaters. So uh, all of our birds actually have different diets so we can't just give the the bird seed to the parrots and we don't just give the parrot pellets to the uh, to the doves so much like other animals it is important that you don't you fly away on me it is important that you do your research and find out what their needs are because they all have different needs uh, obviously they don't learn to talk uh, the funny thing as well is typically um, doves they use pigeons for a lot of dove related things that we think of for doves so a lot of times when you see doves in movies or tvs and they're cooing that's actually pigeons and the uh tradition of releasing doves at a wedding it is not actually doves it's homing pigeons uh, doves actually can't be trained and they don't have that homing instinct so if you release them out into the sky at a wedding uh they're gonna end up landing somewhere and probably dying because they don't have the uh, the instinct to survive they are often ground nesting birds. Um, they spend a surprising amount of their time on the ground. Uh, we built a really nice habitat. Connor built a beautiful tall aviary with lots of platforms and places for them to perch. And I'd say most of them spend most of their time on the ground in the sand, which uh, when you look at things like gulls and other birds that are similar, I guess that's not really a surprise, but whereas our parrots are constantly kind of up and perched. They have been laying eggs. Uh, we are not looking to breed them. So those eggs, we've been it's a great source of natural calcium and food for some of our animals like our blue tongue skinks and our monitor lizards. So what does it sound like when doves cry? Uh, does it sound like demanding parents? No. Uh, they coo, they laugh, they call like that, but I'm not entirely sure where Prince got his choice for lyrics and, and, and that's I love that song but uh yeah it's definitely you know now that we have doves I'm like huh that's that's an interesting lyrically I'm not sure what the uh the um imagery is actually meant to to produce are you gonna fly don't fly just get out of my hand uh doves are popular as pets um you know they they are less than say 
parrots, both in price and in work. Uh, like a lot of your smaller ones, like finches, uh, they do tolerate handling. Um, they can be a bit challenging to get in a large aviary, but once they're out, you can see they're very curious. So the nice thing about them is even though they have a beak, uh, unlike parrots who tend to bite, uh, the doves don't really have do that for defense. They might peck a little bit, but it's not going to hurt. It's not going to draw blood. What you doing? And there's just something very calming and relaxing about them. So even though we have eight, which was a lot more than I intended and wanted, and even though they are loud and quite messy, pretty much we have to sweep them off every day, the sand that they kick out of the habitat, as well as all the feathers. I'm really happy to have these guys. And I'm really happy to have some birds that are gonna be ambassador animals, because birds, I think, are one of those animals that, again, people don't understand what's involved in, in having them. Um, all the exotics that we're working with are commonly kept as pets, with the exception of the porcupines. And so, you know, that's what our messaging is. That's what, you know, this channel is focused on mostly with reptiles, but even, you know, with our outreach programs and as people come to the center, we're going to offer classes on caring for birds, caring for reptiles, things like that. Because even, you know, going on Kijiji every day, I see ads for budgies or buggies. My personal favorite was the breathing pair of budgies which was a really funny little <laughs> autocorrect issue. I'm like, as opposed to what? And then if you've seen the Monty Python parrot sketch, that is what immediately started playing in my head. So, you know, I see small animals on Kijiji daily, uh, rabbits especially, although we don't have any rabbits. So we really want to continue to educate people. That is our mandate. That is our goal is to have people understand and respect wildlife as well as exotic pets more and really understand what they're getting into so you don't see doves frequently because people go, oh, it's a cool little white bird, and then they don't like the cooing or they don't, you know, these aren't as, they don't bond the same way a parrot does. That's kind of the goal. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, learning a bit about our doves. Uh, we're definitely gonna be featuring them a lot on the channel uh, over time, and we are, we are open. So if you'd like to come and be one of the first to check out the new YYC Nature Center, uh, visit yycnaturecenter.com. All of our info is down below. Uh, we have lots of cool other videos on birds, and we have a playlist on birds you can check out here, birds of prey, parrots, things like that. So check those out, and like and subscribe. Thanks again for all your support and for checking out this video. We'll see you next time.